I need to do a makeup look with this. I'm almost certain that you can't see the colors. Like this is green and this is pink, but at the same time there's gold in there. I can see the gold right here in my hand. I need to see this as a highlighter first. I don't know why. This is the Body Shop Sheer Touch Tint and it's really good, especially for the summertime. And now this. It dries down really quickly, so I'm going to be quick. I'm stunning already. I love this. It, like combining red with pink is like my favorite thing to do. I'm just gonna make a line. I'm a little bit afraid that this is going to look gray on my skin, but I think if we can can blend it. Let's do the other side. It dries down so quickly. You really have to like work. So you can see the, the pink right now, but then if I shift, you can see the gold, hopefully. Oh, do you see that? Now you can see the gold. Finally, you can see the gold. Let's move on to the eyes. I'm using this really beautiful Nabla palette and I think I'm going to do something dark and smoky. So I'm starting with the darker base shade and I'm just making sure that this part is darker than this part up here. I'm pressing the pigment on the eyelid like this and then using what's left on the brush to just really blend it out into the crease. I somehow have never patience for my eye makeup so I always have to be as fast as I can. If you make your inner corners dark like this, just know that you have to place something lighter there to really bring it out again otherwise it just looks like you have dark eye circles now i'm using the black and i'm sort of carving out this shape here i just rarely do an eye look where i don't follow my natural bone structure you can always work with the eye shape that you have and just create really natural looking like lines and curves that's really the only thing you have to keep in mind when you're doing eye makeup to make sure that the dark shades go up and down in the right ways that make the eye look flowy like if this is your eye line then you want the black to be above the eye line in order for your eyes not to droop down i have this brow pencil that i like to use on my eyes and again with the bone structure you can just let the pen do the work then i'm gonna do like a smaller one on top as well this could work as a look on its own um, but I want to do a lot more. I also wanted to find a way to bring this inward. I don't know why. If you have other eyes, don't be shy to just pull that shit off. And I'm dragging this one down. I think this looks sort of cool, but I also want to extend it to this side. Don't be shy. Try something new every day, right? So again, opening up the inner corners, following along the waterline, going into this line here, and then dragging this one down like this. And then also filling in this hollow shape here. Whew, I did it. I think I did it. I really like that it looks sort of funky and not even that symmetrical. I don't know. It gives the whole thing like character. I don't ever go for symmetry because my eyebrows are not the same. My eyelids are not the same. So I just want it to look like sisters having a good time and that's what I'm think I'm giving right now. I can tell you right now that the best brushes for your eyes are probably art brushes. I use like a ton of these brushes now for the magic sauce. I'm just gonna start with this center. Okay this is bright. I'm just gonna try. Yeah that was worth it. It melts into the highlight like oh uh, even in the inner corners and the crease so this is without and this is the very extra version if you just follow shape and light and make sure that you have lighter parts and you have darker parts and you have glittery parts and you have matte parts it all comes together no matter what you throw at your eye like i did for the other side i'm gonna try to do this one really quickly the best thing you can do when you don't want to wear concealer is just throw a bunch of glitter in it the way it melts down i love it and obviously this was more of a test than a tutorial you don't have to do the entire look i just want to show you what it can look like and what kind of shapes you can create on your eyes big eye looks deserve big lashes i'm adding this little bit of liner because the lash band is like black and thick so it helps to sort of make it seem like the lashes are actually coming from your eyelashes. And there you have it. I just wanted to play with this and I think I successfully did that.